presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes and no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Marketwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 223, Nasdaq's up 139, S&P's up 142, uh, gold. Gold contract up $8.20 trade at 1736 an ounce. You got silver up a dollar and penny at 1978. Light sweet crude up a buck, $87.74 a barrel, notes and bonds. Ten year note, down four ticks, trading 115.19. The 30 year up, uh, down 20 at 132.27 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 692 ticks, trading 108, 311. The euro is at 101. The yen is out here at 145, 142 rather, and the British pound is at 115 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Right now, we're going to go to over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and the managing director at Direction because the bottom line is that they got a lot of good new news out here, and Dave's been staying busy. Dave Mazza, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, happy to be back with you. Well, let's talk about, I mean, I, I have these up. You know, we got the single stock futures now. We, I mean, uh, equities. We got Apple. We got Google, we got uh, Microsoft, and we got Tesla, right? Yeah, and Amazon as well. And Amazon. How did I miss that? Where? Oh, there, yeah, exactly. And Amazon. Wow. Okay. So you get the kings of the NDX 100, that's for sure, right? So Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, top, top five stocks. That, exactly. So can you walk us through? Let, let's, let's take Amazon, okay? Cause so you can walk us through exactly how this works i'm i'm reading you know on on the bear side it's it's one times and on the bull side it's 1.5 and that's how they all work dave right is that correct yeah that's correct so uh there's five stocks uh with 10 etfs so to your point the bull fund is one and a half times the exposure on a daily basis the bear fund is that one times exposure on a daily basis so they're structured in an extremely similar way to our index-based uh, ETFs like SPXL, SPXS for the S&P 500. But in this case, the underlying exposure, what's being amplified is a single security. And we decided, uh, as we were talking about a moment ago, to first bring them out for the five largest, most liquid securities in, in the NASDAQ, in the S&P 500, and, and even in the world. Um, to give uh, traders, you know, the opportunity to express their views on a short-term basis at the single security levels. I see. Okay, cool, man. So, and this gets intriguing too because the 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 aspect is, is there's plenty of folks that no doubt don't trade options, absolutely don't trade futures. So this is a nice way that you can you can get some leverage because there's plenty of folks that trade a lot of equities but just have not got into a leveraged product so to say do you know what i mean so and in these also dave right i just want to reiterate for all the listeners these are daily investment vehicles well particularly the 150 yeah so how does the one-to-one -one actually wouldn't have to be huh so you really got to think about these to your point as daily investment vehicles okay because we're, we are offering 
that exposure on a daily basis. Okay. However, I think there's different use cases for the bull fund versus the bear fund. And right. they may even be different use cases than what we see with, you know, the SPXL and the SPXS, for example. Right. So specifically that one and a half times on a daily basis, that's really, if you want to express a viewpoint on a short term basis, that Tesla, Amazon, Apple, what have you, is going to be up that day. And you can monitor that position this could be a great tool for you as opposed to going out trying to structure an options trade. Right. Um, you can own it for more than a day, but you have to make that decision that day. This is not a yes. set it and forget it. Right. I want to be explicitly clear about that over the long term right. because, because they're, uh, you're, they're not going to match uh, perfectly right. right? in any way, shape, or form, like any leverage universe ETFs. On the bear side, though, uh, at the inverse one X, you're not going to have that the negative compounding that can come into play with higher leverage points. Right. However, you still need to be able to monitor it on a frequent basis. What we're seeing there is a lot of folks have you know long term capital gains in Tesla, long term capital gains in Apple. Right. That you know you're concerned, and Apple's up you know ripping up over four percent today. Sure. So you might not want to be hedging it, but. People were concerned, hey, is this iPhone 14 going to be anything good? Are people going to want it? Can I have a better camera? What have you? Maybe you don't want to sell that, and you wanted to hedge that position over a handful of days. Right. AAPD can do that. Um, so kind of two different ways of thinking about these compared to traditional leverage and inverse ETFs. You know, so th what, folks, what Dave just went through, this is really cool now because, that, yeah, because it'll be very easy also, like, like, you know, the folks know I have a Bloomberg. So in two seconds, I can hit a couple of buttons as you can. It'll tell us how to do it, right? What's so cool here, Dave, right? I get it, man. So because the bottom line is that you can, you can turn it, well, it. Let me ask you this. Is it a one for one? Like if I had 500 Apple shares, right? And then I would 500 bear shares. Would that be a one for one? Would it would? Well, you'd, you'd have to look at the the the, um, the price, right? Apple's, I think, 161 today. Right. You know, right. the, the um, AAPU, AAPD, somewhere around 25. I don't have my, right. my screen out yes. in front of me. So, but yes, you could structure that again uh, with. Uh, you don't need calculus on this one. Pretty no, simple math. Exactly. To, to, yeah. I think that's your point. Right. To it get is. that one to it, it, one. Right. Um, which is you, really you got to. Get into the prices. No, totally. And, and then, folks, what does happen? That means you're delta neutral. And then that's another decision you make. Say, listen, uh, you know, a big announcement's coming up. I'm not going to make money or lose money. And that's what's really cool about that, folks, is that it's the announcements that, you know, yeah, sometimes they can help you tremendously, but a lot of times they can hurt you tremendously, too. That's, yeah, that's, I can see this, this is going to be, a, this, there's a need for that, man. That, that, is, that is a good setup. Wow. And yeah, then, and the other, the other uh, if I can note one yes. thing uh, as well, is that, you know, and we're seeing a lot of interest in TSLL, which is our bull one and a half times daily Tesla fund. Right. Also, to some extent, TSLS. And the reason why that's the case is, we're in an environment where volatility remains high. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of questions about what the Fed's going to do, inflation, the, China, Ukraine, the list goes on. Tesla has been volatile forever. People are gravitating north because even in times of volatility, you can make money if you're trading oh, yeah. and if you're active. No, no doubt. Well, listen, Dave, we really appreciate the update. Uh, we missed you. We had the holiday. I know. I appreciate you coming back and look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today. Talk to you. Thanks so much. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And congratulations, man. You're working hard. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. In a time of booming inflation, the purchasing power is eroded. There's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network at CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow finished, uh, no, the Dow's trading up 206. You get the NASDAQ up 127. S&Ps are up 39. And, you know, uh, all you tigers and tigresses out there, we get some really sad news. And uh, our Channel King, uh, Bud Rolfs, passed away on 9-11. You know, I, the bottom line is, is that, that he's, he's been sick for a while. I talked to him when he was going into hospice. He called me. Um, it was pretty quick, though, man. I think that was only three weeks ago. Uh, anyway, please send a lot of white light, a lot of prayers up to his family, his grandkids. Uh, he was just an amazing person. And I'm sure uh, I'm going to hunt some of these poems because if, you, if you're listening when Bob, Bud was on, he was, you know, just, you know, you're talking about a West Point graduate, talking about... A technician that's amazing uh, and his poems were just uh, over the top so please say a, a lot of uh, uh, prayers for his family and when I find out where the uh, funeral is going to be I'll make sure you know because there's plenty of folks in Tigers and Tigresses up in Nashua because I met Bud, I met Bud when we had the radio station in Nashua and I remember the first time I met him uh, he brought me into his house and we had meatballs and spaghetti it was so cool it was amazing it was pretty wild Let's go to Ray in Sarasota. Hey, Ray, what's going on? Well, first off, let me just say I, I'm familiar with Bud, and I, uh, I'm sorry to hear that he passed. But, I know, uh, the Wapath. Bud yeah. had the Wapath, folks. It was an amazing, it was a great newsletter. Yeah, big time. Thank you very well, much, Ray. Think, Appreciate it. I got it. questions uh, for you about uh, Yamana Gold. And uh, I called in in, in uh, June, and I had uh, sold some uh, call options against uh, my position. They were July uh, calls. And uh, uh, this, this was right after GFI announced that they were going to take over Umana. And you and I spoke on the phone and, and uh, you said uh, not to, to sell any more options going out uh, further. And, and I haven't thus far. I've been waiting for the finalization of uh, GFI taking over Umana. Right. And, I, I don't have any specific information as to when that might occur. Do you have any idea? No, because what's, what's going on is that it seems like they're having, let me just look at it. They were having a hard time with, with the aspect of the, I believe the Yamana shareholders, you know, basically 
going for the deal. Um, and let's see here. So we got, this was the 25th. You have field goals. Let's see what this says. Um, that, that's, yeah, goal, this is the 25th. Gold fields and Yamada campaign to sell the $6.7 billion takeoff, takeover plan to shareholders. Yamada shareholders still have to vote on this. And they think GFI, I mean, the things that you read, it's, it's like, okay, they don't have as much support on the shareholder base as they do on the executive level. So the two executive levels get together, says, yeah, we want to do it. Well, they should have had more shareholders, you know, basically online, you know, that, right. they, you know, so the market is worried. Yeah, well, the market's worried about it. That, that's like, okay, um, is it going to go or not? You know, yeah. the, the, the problem, well, like well, actually, hold it. Now, I, you're selling options, though, but you, 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 they're cash secured. You own the equity, right? Right. I'm selling covered calls. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess you can sell covered calls. I mean, you, you got the equity. If you have to give it up, you give it up, right? Yep. yep. It, My average cost is around five. And I was thinking about the January uh, $6 calls, if I could get 20 cents a piece. Yeah, so January. That'd be 4% on I got my him. cost basis. Yeah, January. January fives, okay. No, sixes. Sixes, okay. They're going uh, for about 18 cents now. Yeah, no, I see it. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah, and they have to pay you six bucks. Yeah, I, I can see yeah. that. I, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah, and right now, Yamana seems to be trading uh, at about a. 8% discount to what the takeover price was. Right. Be. When we spoke back in July, it was about a 3% discount. It, it widened uh, to about 14 or 15% at one point. Now it's uh, coming back to where it's only about an 8% discount. But, you know, t to me, if I can pick up something on, on the, uh, the call options and, and if, uh, if they don't take my shares away, then I got to try to figure out whether or not I want to own GFI. And uh, then there's currency issues and, and uh, what happens with a, a strong dollar versus the rand. Yeah, well, what has happened is this. GFI, even though that I still, you know, basically uh, headquartered in Zimbabwe, right? Um, uh, many of their equities, I mean, their, their mines are actually, you know, outside of South Africa now. Do you know what I mean? We, they got six operating yep. mines and... You know, Australia, Ghana, Peru, they still have South Africa, but they've, they've basically got out of a lot of mines in South Africa. So their number, I believe, won't be really predicated on the brand. And now, if it was only predicated, it's really hard to f figure out at this point because normally when the RAND gets this week, we're at 17 that the South Africans should be in good shape. But if you look at Harmony, Harmony is like sick. You know, it finally came off the low, but I mean, Harmony in the last two weeks went from 335, hit a low on Thursday of 216, it's a 236, so, mm -hmm. you know. But it, my point is, is that GFI really isn't a solid uh, South African company anymore. They've, they've, been, mm -hmm. they've been pushing assets out for now about nine years. Yeah, yeah. My, my original thought was once uh, GFI took over uh, Yamana, I was looking to exit, uh, just close my position, assuming I'd, I'd be in the money at that point. No, I but, think that's uh, a good idea. I mean, norm, normally what would happen in a deal like this, folks, is that, and it didn't happen here, normally you'd have one of them pop, and when, when that happens, I normally move it out right then and there. I don't wait for the extra two bucks, so, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yep. if something happened, and that didn't happen here, there's no doubt. Um, right. You know, and that's, listen, the gold market's been in tough shape, man. That's the other side of it. You know that. I mean, you're in the market, so you know that. Right. Um, right. You know, a Vista, I mean, yeah, Vista Gold come out this morning. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's still up a penny. It came out this morning and said that the environment that we're in right now, you know, they had hired, this, you know, the Canadian um, bank, CBC, you know, to basically find them a partner. And they said, you know, there, there was interest, but because of the way the markets are right now, that interest is not like what they want. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got, yeah. I got one other 
stock that you might find uh, interesting if you've got the time. Yes. V E R U. B E R U. B as in Victor. Oh. Okay. Is in Edward R U. And uh, what I've done is I've been buying it uh, between twelve and fifteen dollars a share, and then I've been selling uh, calls against my position. Yeah, stay, stay right there. We'll go over this as soon as you come back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrials right now is trading uh, up 178. NASDAQ is up 134. S&Ps are up 37. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking about Ray from Sarasota. We're going to be talking about uh, VERU. So tell, tell me about this company, because when I look at this company, Ray, right? It's, yep. uh, you can see it says in the front, right, uh, is a revenue, revenue generating oncology and urology biopharma company developing medicines for prostate cancer, treatment and prostate cancer supportive care, as well as urology, especially ph pharmaceuticals. But then when I go down for the real description, it's talking about, it doesn't talk about that. So tell me what these, these guys are doing. Uh, the, the big news is, is that they just finished a phase three test and uh, they have a pill that they give to hospitalized COVID patients that's reduced the mortality rate by 50%. Okay. And uh, they're going to have a meeting with the FDA in early October. And uh, uh, as an example, I, I've been buying shares and then turning right around and selling call options against positions. Yes. So as an example, this morning I bought 100 shares at uh, $15 a share. Uh, actually, I bought more than 100. Okay, And then yeah. I sold calls at uh, for october uh the third week uh, in october expiration i got five dollars and 70 cents for them yeah 
And so, I'm, I'm hoping they take my shares away from me. But even if they don't, if you look at the chart, I mean, it's got quite an interesting trading pattern for the last six months. But uh, I, I think uh, this thing is uh, going to go higher. But I don't want to be uh, greedy. You know, bulls and bears can make money, and you know what happens to pigs. Yeah, well, but, listen. But what I set up this morning, it's like about a 37 or 38 percent return in less than two months. Right. Now, now let me ask you something. Are, are you in the Tigers Den in the Discord room? Uh, I did sign up for your uh, okay. uh, the, uh, the new promotion, the yeah. dollar thing. Yeah, and uh, I've spent a little bit of time uh, okay. over there, but but not too much. The reason I'm asking right now, folks, this is in fact, you know, folks, we we just we started a a promotion today, right? So check it out. It, this Tigers room is only a dollar for the year, okay? And we do that just so we don't get spammed out. That's the bottom line, okay? And so you can go over here. So we started a promotion today about if you, uh, we have, you have until Wednesday to tell us the S&P price, SPX price on Friday. You get one deal. We're going to give out ti uh, Tiger coffee cups. So that's cool in itself. But what you're doing there, you should kind of come in here because we have a couple Tigers. That's all they do is what you're doing. And they have all these biotech. So what happens here, like, if you would just listen to this conversation, folks, I can imagine you saying, well, how do you get a $15 stock and you're getting $5, okay, for a call that is $2 higher? So you're talking $7 on a 50, you know. But what it is, is that the folks that are into biotechs, and this is so applicable, Ray, Ray I'm so psyched to call because, you know, that Bud Rolfs, the reason that, Bud Ross, that when he ever came to TFNN, was that, remember, like, it, it would happen, folks, in the 90s, right? The the Yahoo boards and the, what was the other name of that board? Um, anyway, Bud Ross was the biotech king on all those boards in a monster way, not in a small way. Um, but that's what they're, you know, inside the, the, the Discord room, our Tigers room, there's a lot of people doing exactly what you do with, with all these biotechs. We got a biotech guy in there, Dan, that knows just about, I mean, he has so many biotechs, it's insane. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So just keep uh, that in mind. But yeah, that's a great trade, man. That's the bottom yeah. line. And what it is, folks, is this. Now, just so we can understand what he's doing, he owns the stock and he's selling the call on the own stock. That's a, that's a whole different ballgame because what he's also done, because these stocks, this stock could go from $15 to $7 tomorrow morning. But guess what? If it goes from $15 to $7 tomorrow morning, Ray is still only down 2 bucks. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I'm, I will be uh, in, in at $9.30. Uh, right. Cool. Basically. So I've got, I've got protection on the downside. But I'm optimistic on the upside, uh, the way it's been trading and and uh, the patterns that I see. Now, here, here, I'll give you another one right now because they're all talking about your in here. This is awesome. So let me, let's pull this up. K-O-L-D. One second. K-O-L-D. So this, and I do that all the time with K-O-L-D. So K-O, oh, K-O-L-D. Well, that's just a pro share. Okay, I see that. Okay. Um, and then another tag is telling me we can, we can get right now, let's see. You can sell a ten dollar strike October fourteenth and fetch two bucks. You can sell a ten dollar strike. Huh. Well, you don't want to sell a ten dollar strike. Oh, put sales. I, I see what they're saying. I see. So they, they're they're selling puts against the two. I right. see what's going on. Yeah. All right. And yeah. then another one. They trade this one a lot. Is Sava S A V A. S A V A. Yeah. This is a yeah. monster. I like the the, the call side. I'm not. Uh, Excited about the put side. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm with you. I, I, I get it. It's just, it's. A, listen, you caught on to something that's a great concept. That's the bottom line. We appreciate the call, man, and uh, we'll keep an eye I'll, on it, man. I'll have to spend more time in the den. Yeah, even if it's in the morning, for the way that you are trading these, I, I would. I just, they'll, they'll, they'll tell you what they're trading. I mean, they, they, they tell everyone what they're trading. That's my point. That. Because you've already done this, you'll, you'll catch on like in two seconds. You know what I'm saying? Well, you don't have to catch on. I'm just saying that you'll have other ones that are just as volatile, you know. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Cook it, man. 
Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Okay. You too, Tom. Bye-bye. And, folks, if you haven't, get, get, let's bring this up, okay? Because this is, let's see. So we got TFNN. Let's see. We go under services. You're going to go under services, and you're going to see. Okay, so it's not under services. Where the heck is it? Man? Okay, I should know this. This is pretty bad. I don't know this. Advertising. One second. There we go. This is even better. So, right, you go right to CFNN, and you're going to see it's under featured content today, okay? So, you hit that, you subscribe to the Tiger's Den. It's a dollar, folks. It's a dollar for the year. And, you know, if, you know, the bottom line, if you trade, you should be in there. If you're building portfolios, you could be in there. We had a lot of smart Tigers and Tigresses. Um, they know they throw a lot of things out and there are no crystal balls folks. We're not selling a crystal ball just so you know that okay But what does happen is that you have a lot of intelligent tigers and tigresses and They've all formed a great family Okay, in order to basically put that Ideas out there and then you can take the idea and not take the idea um, all of the above and That's you know that is pretty cool. There's no doubt about it so, market-wise out here, let's see what kind of uh, volumes we're going to get in general. So, you're at 494 right now. That means, you know, we might have a small contraction. You can see what happened on Friday. What happened on Friday is that we really could have got a real contraction of volume, and it didn't, it didn't happen, man. It, it came, the volume came in um, at the end of the day. Not... It wasn't larger, but it came in. You can see the, the composite. The composite ended up doing 4.3, and 4.3 is pretty good. Now, look at this today. Today, you're talking about 3.4. Now, that is not going to make 4.3 today. The, the composite is not going to do 1 billion shares you know, in all of uh, 20 minutes. Not going to happen. So you are going to have a big contraction. The real question is going to be, um, you know, does... Does the whole higher price hold as we come into the close? Dow right now is up about 176, the Nasdaq's up 132, and SPs are up 36. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's up uh, 183. NASDAQ is up 133. S&Ps are up 37. Let's go to our man, John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? Um, I'm uh, doing well here. How about yourself? It's we're getting a little break in the weather. It's about you know time, but this is kind of getting cool down here. We're liking it. Well, Excellent. well, cool for us, John. Of course, it's like you know, eighty-five, eighty-seven. <laughs> right, right. When it's uh, ten below up here in a couple of months, I'll, uh, I'll, I'm I'll give you. you a shout. I'm with you. Shout. I'm with you. So, what are we looking at today? To ask you, you might have addressed this early in your show when I was not listening. Um, question on the uh, December. T-note and T-bond futures contracts, they're, um, they're making uh, lower lows here as we speak on the daily chart. I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering about the question, does this decline extend a good bit further lower or does it bottom out sometime very soon? I'm wondering if you could look at, uh, look at those and tell me if there's anything that you see that might answer that question. Okay, so let, let's start right with the what John's talking about, folks, is that this is where we're lined up right now, okay? And it's pretty dangerous <laughs> because the bottom line is that, you, number one, you may be setting up an ABC structure down. Um, you know, the, the, low, the low on the 10-year thus far is a 114.07. And you can see, you know, what has happened here, man, this is a one-way one route on the way down. Let me just put this up this way. I want to put the generic one up. Um, on the 10 year first, John. Because my take is that we are going lower and rates are going higher. That, that's the, and I, I wanted to bring this back up to show you where, though. Um, if I bring this back further, because what we had done, what we did do, is that we broke, you know, I mean, we, oops, not that one. You can see what happened, man. I mean, when we broke, you know, the, 117.13, that's saying, man, this thing's going to go down to 104. So my take is that that's where we're going, John. Um, you know, and we know the CPI is coming out on Wednesday. And, you know, the intriguing part about the market right now is that, you know, you had the Fed come out, well, you had Powell come out, then you had uh, Fed governors come out saying, hey, we're still going to go after this in a big way. And, you know, the, the market said, well, okay, that's good. I'm still going to go up. <laughs> um, yeah, but my take, John, is that these rates are going a lot higher, man. And if, let, let's go bring, bring up the 30-year for a second. So if I bring up the 30-year, US 1, there it is. So we're at 137. And yeah, this is the same thing. This is, we bring this back. I'm just bringing it back 20 years right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, until either one of them could get back inside, you know, the October lows, you know, and on the 30 year, that's 136.16. I mean, it looks to me like, yeah, it's just going to do a whole round trip and we're going to be back to where we were in 2006 and 7, which is, you know, the 110 to 104 mark on, on the 30 year. And that's what it seems it, like it's so going to take. Suffice it to say what you 
need to see for any chance of a uh, tradable low is is coming back above that prior swing low, getting back within the range as you as you describe it. Yes, sir. That would be it. Okay. And, and what John's saying, okay, folks, so let's just go over for the for the clientele because what happens, folks, is that it has to get back inside the range, and the range is a little bit higher, and in the you know it's a couple points higher, and then that would be a rejection of lower price, you know. And you're inside a range, and that, that's that's saying okay, that'd take a, a, that means that the rates could drop down for a bit, you know. It's it's hard to, hey, listen, y'all are gonna be the great person for me to talk to about this. So listen to this. This is really cool, folks. Okay, now, two of the biggest um, writers that you know, like educational writers that you know, write some good pieces. Now, both of these guys have written pieces together about the Fed and about um, economics and the dollar and other currencies. So this came out over the weekend. So check this out, John, right? And especially for us that like commodities, right? Listen to how this deal came down. So one of the writers is, has written that, you know what? Everyone's worrying about the dollar, that it's too high. What he's saying is that in the next, you know, 10, 20 years, it's going to be all about commodities, period. It's going to be about what we can get. And his point is, is this, is that when the war in Ukraine started, first, okay, so we, went, we got the, you know, uh, defenses against uh, the sanctions against Russia, right? Well, guess what? We all know it only took Russia, you know, six or seven weeks to figure out that, okay, guess what? We're not going to use U.S. dollars but yet everyone's still gonna buy our stuff, which has happened, by the way, folks, okay? They're selling just as much in uh, other currencies. So this writer's point, John, and folks, is that the currencies themselves, okay, aren't where the real action is. What's gonna happen is that it's gonna be countries, states, you, me, owning the actual commodities, because the commodities are the thing that is really worth the money. I, I, as the exchange goes, right? So that's one side of the, that was what one writer did. They, they simultaneously put this out at the same time. The second guy is saying that, yes, the dollar is high, but it's been higher and things are not gonna change because of the fact that there's so many dollars in the world and everyone will accept the dollar and we've, we've known that forever. I mean, if you've been around to other countries, folks, okay, the dollar is king, I mean, in a monster way. It doesn't matter what country you're in, they'll always take dollars. But this is what I really find intriguing, John. I found intriguing, I can, I can get on that side about, I would much rather store commodities than store dollars, I can tell you that. <laughs> now, we know commodities go up and down, but so what do you think of that, in general? Did I lose them? Bummer. Okay. Anyway, folks, that's something to, you know, get your head wrapped around a bit. Like, what is actually the worth? Is the worth a piece of paper? And they were talking about fiat currencies in general. So is the worth a piece of paper or is there worth what you're buying with that piece of paper? And what they're saying specifically is that it's the commodities that are actually worth the money. Now, and, and listen, man, I can see that. I would much rather basically get, you know... Yeah, I'd like to have a, a teak backyard. <laughs> yeah, teak trees, right? That's, I mean, that's worth what? You can't put a number on it, folks, okay? So we'll see where this whole thing goes. I don't think the dollar's ever gonna, uh, you know, get down to the point of being a peso or something. Uh, but I think that the writers, well, they both writers were cool, but I think the writer, I, I, can, I can see that, because I was, I was thinking about that, that you know, you never know what the unintended consequences are when we use the dollar as basically financial warfare. You know, that's the reality, and we should. I mean, I'm the screw Russia. I mean, I ain't even close. Um, but the the fact is, once people understand that they don't need it, then you're talking about a whole different ball game, man. Dow Dow Industrials right now up 204. The Nasdaq's up 145. S and P's up 41. We'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, and the CPI, folks, and thanks, Peter. The CPI is tomorrow morning, so you can expect some fireworks here, folks, okay? Uh, yeah, that's the real bottom line. And, you know, in, inside that CPI, okay, you know, the bottom line, the expected will, is going to back down a bit. But when you start talking the Fed, uh, when we're talking they want to get it down to 2%, well, guess what? Um, you know, we're still running like an 8, you know. So, you know, that, to get back to 2, they're going to have to, you know, basically tip this, economy uh, into uh, a recession in a monster way, not in a small way, you know. And then, you know, that, that's always going to be the thing about uh, be careful with your ASCO, because what does happen in this particular case, um, you know, these rates, when, when I look at the Fed fund rate here, let's do this, okay? To me, the Fed fund rate is going to double. And right now, we are at uh, 2.25 is the bottom end, 2.5 is the top end, you know. And, you know, I suspect that's going to be at 5% because I just don't see any way that you're going to go from 8% inflation, you know, to 2. What I think has happened, there's no doubt, I think we're bouncing around, bouncing along. I, I think, you know, and then it, it seems to me like everything jumped up to 30%. That's, I mean, that, that was real. And then we'll level out again. We'll probably level it out for years. But I suspect that we're talking about, I don't know, two, three, four years that we're going to be in this. See, you just don't get into inflation and all of a sudden it disappears. I mean, I mean, unless, you know, you have some kind of disaster in a, in a huge way. So, 
Let's go take, check a look at, uh, because it's going to be the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ's holding price, but you're going to have no volume. Yeah, look at this. You're still at $3.7 billion. So the NASDAQ's going to end up doing like $4 billion, and we haven't done $4 billion shares. Let's just see this. When I do the update, you know, you know, they, they, hey, if you're a bull, you better hope that this NASDAQ did like 4.25 or something, or even, even over four. I mean, because that would mean it's going to do 300 million shares in four minutes. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Building